Hello, everyone, and welcome into more expeditions around the world. Um, my name's Sorcerer Matt. I've been very much enjoying this game, having a ton of fun. Um, so, what destination is Banff. Okay. Um, I think that this um, grouping of four over here, um, and even maybe taking out, um, doing... Gr uh, uh, Amur River, Bering Strait, Mount Fuji, and then um, Sulawesa um, is going to be the play because um, that um, this one connects better to these three. This one's deceivingly a little bit of out there. Um, we kind of have stuff spread all over. Um, got some stuff down in the middle in Africa here, so, um, we're gonna have to kind of, the, it's good and bad news about that. The good news is, um, the bad news is that we're kind of spread out. The good news is, um, that, oh, wow, my opponent's really, um, uh, really bunched together as well. Uh, the good news about it is that, um, <clears throat> no matter where these routes go, we'll be able to, um, kind of pick anything up, but, um, the other nice thing about having everything over here is there are two... You, we got the shared destination over here as well as um, uh, one down here. So um, that's that's really nice. Um, all right. Let's see where my opponent begins. I kind of like in this game not going first. Okay, so he's going to start by going that way. Um, I don't see any reason why we don't do this. This could actually be a pretty big turn to, to kick us off. So we do this. That gets us another turn. Then we do this. That gets us a destination for us. We use a ticket, which we haven't used. We go down to here. That gets us um, a, uh, another turn. Go down to here. That gets us the ticket back. Then we use our second ticket to go um, this way to pick up an extra turn. And then we grab this destination. So with net losing one ticket, we played one, two, three, four, five, six routes and got a destination in. So I am giving my opponent another destination here, like another ticket here. Um, but basically we took this route and diverted it away. Now, again, like looping this back together is about the easiest thing you can do. Um, so like that's, it is what it is. Um, interesting that he decided to go that way. Well, I shouldn't say that. So this is where like, you might be thinking, okay, well, wait a minute. He's got all his revealed destinations are up here. Why did he go that way? Well, um, he, he's clearly, um, has some stuff over here. And then, because of how easy it is late in the game to get loops, and then, hey, look at that, beautiful. He went up to my destination, so I don't have to. Um, you can easily divert things um, elsewhere. So, like, that's not a big deal. Okay. Um, so, what do I want to do here? Because if I, if I go out this way, which I'm going to want to do, um, I get an extra turn, but if I go here, I'm basically giving my opponent a a free something, which I maybe don't care about because it will um, it will further my stuff. So, like, if I go here, I'll give up the shared destination simply to advance towards what I want to do. And then the worst case scenario is he does not do anything here. And then I can I can pick up this the shared destination plus be able to um you know do some other stuff as well. So I, I'm I'm pretty happy with how how that turned out. Yeah, see that's totally fine. So he's gonna use a ticket. I mean I'm assuming he's going to go here to this blue dot and then complete the loop this way. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, it may have seemed weird to go that way, but now he can complete this loop and um, now can go into this. Yeah, he can go into here 
and it's totally fine. He's picking up tickets. He's now can very easily get all of his revealed destinations. Totally, totally fine. And he has a really great setup where he can just kind of, you know, pick all these off here. So this is great. See, now I can go here. I pick up the shared destination, which I would not discount. And I'm going to use a ticket. And then I'm going to go here. Confirm. And then I'm going to spend the extra one. This may seem a little bit um, counterintuitive, but I'm going to go and grab the extra ticket. Um, it's early in the game. I, I've got a little bit of a lead, I suppose. Um, but um, what I would like to do is kind of grab Bering Strait, Amur River, Mount Fuji, um, kind of go and then work my way down this way. Really clever play by my opponent here. Picks him up an extra ticket. Um, there's That's what I'm liking about this game is, is the more that I do it, the more like there's some really, really clever plays that you can do. Um, all right, so, um, I think that it's safe to say that my opponent is probably going to want to work this yellow route back north, so I don't need to grab this, because he's going to do it for me. So, what I think is better is simply, um, well, maybe not. Maybe... Hmm. You know what? I think that if we go here, we grab this. Then we use a ticket. And then we go here. And confirm. And now, while it is tempting to do this shared destination, what um, I'm going to do is remember that these connect and go... Um, do I head towards this revealed destination, or do I head down here? So I think I'm going to do... I'm actually going to go up. Um, this may seem very strange, but I think that this gets me an extra turn and get, allows me to pick this one. Um, and then it also means that completing a loop here is a little bit more difficult. Um, the red route, I can very easily route down this way. The only downside of this play was that it does leave me with one ticket, and I really like to have one ticket in my back pocket. But I think that this play, it diverts away from these revealed destinations. In order to complete this loop, it's going to be really, really tough. So yeah, my opponent is now trying to do this blue route. Um... So I'm just going to play, like, if he's going to play slow, I am i don't mind playing slow as well. Um, okay, great. Excellent. So I'm assuming he's going to complete this loop here. Yep. And then, now this is where he can kind of divert this away from, uh, he can divert this away. Though, he may want to try to do what I did over here and try to divert this towards um, something else. So this is not like the worst thing in the world. Um, okay, love that. Well, I mean, I don't love it, but... Um, okay. Um, I think I'm going to go here and end my turn. If he wants to go here, use a ticket, and complete the loop, good on you, man. Okay, so he's grabbing that. Um, hmm. <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. Um, man. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, I definitely don't want to play that route. Um, I think that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, this is tricky. Um, I think that I want to try to divert this red route back this way. Right now, I just want to kind of not help my opponent. That's that's the goal here. <laughs> okay, so he's going this way. That's fine. I'm I'm okay with this. Okay. So, um he went here. Okay. So this now, we complete this loop. And we continue along this, well, hmm. I think, no, we got to go, well, I don't want to go here because then he can just go there. Um, I suppose he could complete this loop. Um, but I think I'm going to be okay with that. And I'm just going to end my turn. Maybe that's the wrong play because he can complete this loop and then, like, divert this any of 70 different ways but again like it's easy to like especially down in here it's just really easy to get loops and then i can just come back and divert it this way um I, like I, I don't consider that to be a really big problem um and down in here you can kind of chain together some stuff really really easily yeah so he's going to complete that loop i'm curious where he's going to divert this to Probably down this way. Maybe he's going to grab this shared location here. That's fine. But again, like, I can now just close the loop. Now I go here, confirm. I'm going to use a ticket. Uh, meh. Um, actually, I'm going to use a ticket to eliminate this route. So then I now get another loop of which I can go here. And that allows him... Now, I, I do use up my ticket there, which is not ideal. But I think that I can... I can work with that. Great. Love that. Um, I'm assuming he's going to use a ticket to go up this way and then use it to then get over here to these shared destinations. Yep. So yeah, he gains one ticket. He uses that ticket immediately. And then I'm assuming he's going to go back this way. Oh no, he's not going to use that ticket. Okay. So this sets my opponent up to be able to get the loop and divert this way. I, I don't care. I would rather get this revealed destination out of the way um, and and call it good. A little bit concerned that my opponent has three of the shared des uh, shared destinations, but I need to um, also start to think about how can I start diverting this yellow route back to where I want it to go. The issue is um, if I do it, it um, if I go here, my opponent then is set up for a huge turn, which I really don't want to do. Um, gosh, there's really not a great play for me. Um, I'm just going to go this way because I have to play. And that's the least bad play. <laughs> um, this is, so this is an example of a game, you know, how you can kind of get caught if you do not have any tickets. Um, so, like, I'm assuming he's going to use that ticket. He's going to complete this loop. 
and gain the ticket back. And now he can divert this red route wherever. Now, the hope is that he diverts it to a place that I'm happy about and that maybe I can do something with. Okay, I can work with this. Okay, oh, that's that's really excellent. So now I don't pick up any tickets here. I guess I could if I go here, but no, the, the, the right move is to go here and to go here and grab that. That grabs that shared destination. What it also does is it doesn't, like, if he goes in this way, that doesn't completely, like... Horror, like take out my plans um, because I want to go this way anyway. Um, the question is, if I go here, that gets him an extra ticket. Um, where is the yellow route kind of going off to? Um, I suppose I could go here, but that puts my opponent in a position to do anything. What do I want to do here? Um, I'm just going to go here and maybe see if my opponent just doesn't do anything over here. <laughs> um, hi, yeah, I'll say highly doubt that's going to happen, but I also wouldn't mind him advancing this route down this way, so maybe I can try to nab uh, some of the stuff down here. Um, the, the issue here is that um, my opponent has a massive ticket advantage, which is really the... Um, can really become the difference in between winning or losing in this game. Um, so as of right now, I'm a little bit behind the eight ball. Um... But um, not enough that I'm incredibly concerned. So there's his other ticket. Um, and wherever this one ends, I shouldn't say that. If he goes this way, yes. Yeah. If he goes like that, that's okay. Because I need to get to the Indian Ocean and to Salvador... So, yeah, so that's that's fine. Um, now, so the question here is, do I... I think that I, instead of going over here towards South America, I think I am really hampered by I can't do anything with tickets. Um, now, this is also setting up my opponent for a pretty big turn. Um... Huh. Um. I controversial opinion. I'm gonna use the ticket to grab my destination. My fear is this was gonna go south. He was gonna go south, and then I was gonna have a tough time diverting this back. Um. So I'm I'm okay with that. The other thing we can do is kind of go red this way. Um. But yeah, like pretty much he can yeah, he can like complete this loop here and then divert this blue back to wherever. Um Okay, no, he's not gonna complete the loop. He's gonna go that way. Okay, he's gonna use the second ticket. And then he's gonna go that way. Okay, that's fine. And he's gonna go that way. Okay. Um I don't see any reason why we wouldn't just grab this shared destination and grab the point. I don't I don't see any reason why we would not do that. So I'm assuming he's going to remove that. Okay. Okay, so he removes that. Um, oh, interesting. So he gets the shared destination because he removed that. Interesting. Very nice. That's a nice little play there. Um, and now he goes this way because he needed that destination, which is fine. And he uses a ticket. I'm assuming his last destinations have to be in South America. So yeah, he's going that way. Um, so the question is, do I now divert down this way to grab another ticket? And I think the answer to that question is yes. Blue. Yep. So we're going to go this way. Then I'm going to grab this ticket. 
and end the turn. So literally all that was for was grabbing a ticket. I still need to get back here somehow. <laughs> uh, so one, two, and where is my third? Oh, one, two, and three um, are my are my last little destinations that I got to hit here. Um, so yeah, he's going here. He's going to use a ticket. I'm assuming he's going to go up this way to grab the extra turn. And then he's going to go and grab the shared destination. Oh, no, he's not. No, I mean, that closes the loop, so that also grabs another ticket. So closing the loop, grabbing another ticket. I think that's smart. I don't like it. I wish I, wish I was making this play. Yeah, that makes more sense. And so now... Curious to see what he does here. Okay. So it makes sense to go here and then use this ticket to then go here to then use this ticket or this closed loop to go here. So now I only have one destination left. The only issue is that it is uh, the one that he knows about. <laughs> so he knows exactly where I need to get, um, which is a little bit of a uh, issue, which is why I usually like to get, get the uh, um, reveal destinations done first because now, like, with my opponent, I don't know where his stuff is. And so um, I could very easily... Um, stumble upon things that he is trying to do. Assuming he's going to go this way. I'm assuming he's going to try to close a loop somewhere. However, this is his second ticket that he's used. So, um, yes, he gets the thing there, but... Um, okay. So... So, oh, okay, so here we go. We're going to go this, and we're going to go this way. Confirm. I'm going to use the ticket. Then I'm going to go like this, and confirm. And then I can just go right into the shared destination, or the revealed destination. And now I suppose I can use this ticket to... Um, is there anything that, like, helps me at all? Not really. So I'm just going to undo the use ticket and end my turn. All right! So, um, really, I, I was very happy with how that game, how we managed that game with no tickets. That's a really nice way to kind of see how to manage a game where you don't have a lot of tickets. I used it up, and I support the decisions to be able to use them, but I'm actually surprised that my opponent was not, be, was not able to use the tickets to um, their advantage. Um, and this is where you got to be careful of finding the balance of, okay, he had a bunch of tickets, but just wasn't using them. Like, if it, it, it made no sense here that he left this here, because I can just use the ticket, go here, and then be able to divert this way. Now, again, with, with this board, it's sometimes hard to see that. But he had um, a bunch of tickets. Now, he maybe he used them all. But still, like, you you kind of have to be careful and balance. The, he definitely should have been trying to grab more of these shared destinations in South America. Now, I don't know where his other destinations were. Um, maybe he was trying to get up into Africa um, because Africa was very largely unexplored. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, that's kind of how you can manage a game with no tickets. Just kind of bide your time, be patient, and wait for, op and, and kind of make plays towards tickets rather than making plays towards destinations. And then you can kind of, like, just moseying around the map, you can kind of get a lot of your destinations, so... All right, so that's um, more expeditions. Um, hey, if you are enjoying all this content, uh, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, uh, uh, I am now in the, I would say, upper 30s of subscribers and with my goal of 50 by the end of July, really trying to hit that. Appreciate all of you who are liking and commenting and watching. Um, it really means a lot to me. 
We will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.